Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the normal coronary blood flow and phasic changes that occurs in coronary blood flow during systole and diastole. In our last lecture we discussed that the main arteries that supplies the blood to the heart is the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. This is the heart. Here we have the heart and this is the right coronary artery which is basically supplying blood to most of the right side of the heart and this is the left coronary artery which is basically supplying the blood to left side of the heart. Now the normal coronary blood flow, the normal coronary blood flow is about 225 ml per minute, 225 milliliter per minute. This is the amount of blood which the heart as a whole is, is receiving. Now we have we are basically uh, looking at the changes that occur that occur during uh, that occur in the blood flow during various conditions. Now here we have plotted the blood flow here on the y-axis we have plotted the coronary blood flow and here we have plotted the uh, changes that occurs in the uh, blood flow during systole and diastole. Now the normal blood flow, the normal blood flow to the heart is around 225 ml per minute. Whenever the heart starts contracting, uh, contracting, or when the heart is contract, uh, contracting during systole, or it, uh, the blood flow to the muscles of the heart, the blood flow to the muscles of the heart, it decreases, it decreases. And when the heart is relaxing in the diastole, then the blood flow increases again. Then when the heart is contracting again in the systole, the blood flow decreases again. This is because the, the blood vessels, the blood vessels that are supplying blood to the heart, they are penetrating, they are penetrating deep inside the muscles. They are penetrating deep inside the muscles. So when the heart contracts these blood vessels they are they are basically compressed they are compressed due to pressure from the outside especially the small branches of these these right and left coronary artery may not be compressed fully they are present on outside but the small branches the of these arteries which are basically penetrating deep inside the muscle the musculature of the heart they get compressed due to pressure of the uh, heart muscles. So due to compression, the normal blood flow during systole, it decreases. This is something which occurs normally. This is occurring in a normal heart. So the normal coronary blood flow is around 225 ml per minute or 225 milliliter per minute. It normally decreases, it decreases during systole, during contraction of the heart and it increases again in diastole or relaxation of the heart. Then it decreases again in systole and it increases again in diastole, then decreases again. So the normal blood flow uh, changes occur even in the normal blood flow. Then what occurs in the exercise? Exercise. Now if a person starts exercising then the cardiac output the cardiac output which normally is around 5 liters per minute 5 liters per minute it may increase it may increase to around 25 liters per minute or the work output the work output or the load of the heart may increase around 8 to 9 times 8 to 9 times to compensate for this thing, the normal blood flow or the, the blood flow to the heart muscles, it may increase, it may increase four to five times. It may increase four to five times during exercise. So the normal blood flow to the heart is around 225 ml per minute. This is the amount of blood which the muscles of the heart is receiving. Otherwise, the, the amount of blood that the heart is pumping is 5 liters per minute, which, which is known as the cardiac output. The, but the heart in itself is a muscle and it needs blood for survival. So it is receiving 225 ml per minute. 
and this amount of blood it decreases in increasing even normally in a normal human being during systole and diastole and in during exercise during exercise basically the the chapter which we are discussing is the muscle blood flow and cardiac output during exercise coronary circulation and ischemic heart disease that's why it is important to discuss the amount of blood flow during exercise as well along with the normal coronary blood flow so during exercise the workload of the heart may increase the cardiac output may increase 8 to 9 times and the blood flow may increase from 225 ml per minute up to 1 liter per minute up to 1 liter per minute or it may increase 4 to 5 times apart from that the efficiency the efficiency of the heart muscles the efficiency or the utilization power of the heart muscle also increases so the normal coronary blood flow is 225 ml per minute there is a decrease in systole due to contraction of the heart because the blood vessels the small branches of the main coronary coronary blood vessels they get compressed from the outside due to contraction of the heart in systole so the blood flow decreases then when systole ends and diastole starts relaxation of the heart starts so the heart the blood flow increases again and it keeps on decreasing until uh, the systole starts again when it drastically decreases again so in systole it decreases again and then uh, in uh, in diastole it the blood flow increases again this that is the normal blood flow pattern in exercise the blood flow this normal blood flow it may increase four to five times and apart from the increase in blood flow to the heart muscles the efficiency of the heart muscles or the utilization power of the heart muscles also increase during exercise so that that's a simple lecture about the normal coronary blood flow and phasic changes that occur in the coronary blood flow